Thank you for your watching this video clip, ladies and gentlemen, my colleague in Ethiopia. Uh, I'm Professor Handa from Tokyo. Um, we are learning, we are sharing important conceptual framework of hospital management as the starting point to improve our hospital management practice. We are learning five as principle and the practices. So ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, let's resume our session. Um, I have uh, not been in this particular session for a few months, so should I have a continuation of my uh, talk in the same way? Uh, but because of uh, uh, my difficulty of the physical condition, I forgot something, maybe. So I start this speech with a, uh, just a quick review of the concept and the practices of 5S uh, activities. So 5S activities are the starting point, as you can see, uh, for the betterment of hospital management. Starting point four, reducing stress and frustration of your routine work. Then, of course, it is possible to improve the quality and safety of healthcare. But it takes a, a little bit of time to reach safety improvement and quality improvement in order to understand how we can reach there we have to start from the beginning. So 5S principle means combination of those five keywords, starting from S in English, sorting, setting, shining, standardizing, and sustain. So let's have a quick review of the definition of those important terms. Sorting means discarding unnecessary items and clutter from your working venue. Setting is the process to give proper orderliness to the essential items for your work at your respective work venue. Then shining is obviously uh, meaning the improving cleanliness of the work venue. Before you make sorting a setting, it is not uh, uh, good uh, to start cleaning, shining, as you can see here. After sorting and setting, we have to clean the venue. Otherwise, we uh, misuse our resources and our time. So, the fourth S is standardize. Standardize means making sort, set, and shine as a part of our routing work with standardization. I think it is quite important to standardize what we have to do. So, number fifth S stands for sustain. Sustain is uh, directly or indirectly connected to our improvement of morale and morals. Morale means attitude or uh, improvement of the teamwork and then moral means work ethics. So in order to have a sustaining process we have to continue sort, set and shine and standardize as a routine work and then at the same time Sometimes we have to have a learning opportunity periodically. For example, every uh, one or two times in a month, your team uh, get together and sit down together and then uh, spend half an hour or 45 minutes in learning how to improve 5S activities, how to solve your problems are facing at every corner of your work venue. This is sustain. So 
Five is principle is a combination of the five S's, sort, set, shine, standardize, sustain. So you can just check your language. As you could see here, um, each word could be translated in your language uh, nicely. Uh, then you can use both languages, English and your uh, Amharic language. At the same time, uh, with, the, with the principle of uh, 5S and practices of 5S, we have to have a good um, way of thinking about conceptual framework for managing hospitals. I think mountain of hospital management is already well known among you because uh, you have um, uh, this kind of uh, schematic drawing in some textbooks. We have to climb this particular mountain of hospital management from the bottom. The bottom is a 5S activity. This is a mountain of uh, hospital management or you can say pyramid of hospital management. It has a seven layers, seven steps. In this particular session of today, we want to make a quick review of each step. Step one. Step one is a work environment improvement. Particularly physical environment of work venue should be improved using 5S activities. I think it is very obvious and you are doing this. I know. Then second step, we can strengthen our teamwork and then capacity of the team using the process of 5S activities. You know the word work improvement team. This particular team should be formulated in every department and division at the hospital. Th this particular team should learn together, should work together, should teach, train together e for each other then you can strengthen your teamwork step three is a step to have problem solving problem solving for the benefit of staff and then for the benefit of your patients i think this particular process is often mentioned as kaizen process Kaizen is a Japanese word which means continuing improvement. So problem solving should be done by the team, not by a certain individuals. I think this is very, very important for us to, to have a recognition on the importance of teamwork, help each other, sharing common objective, and then smooth communication, etc. Those are the conditionality of the good teamworks. So let's go to the fourth step. Using outcome of Kaizen, problem solving, and using outcome of 5S activity, I think we have to optimize what we have in our hand hospital resources and then also we have to improve the standardization of the work process we call it SOPs standard operational procedures every package of the work should be described in SOP format and then this particular format should be understood by all the staff and then this information should be shared among all the staff. So often we use this simple uh, saying that in the step four, we have to improve four M's, men and women, machines, and then materials, and then method. Men and women is a human resource. We have to improve ourselves, our capacity, our skill, our non 
technical skill as well. Managerial capacity should be strengthened. And then machines is a equipment. All the equipment should be sound in function. And then uh, all the equipment should be operational. Material, this is uh, related to in-house logistics of uh, different types of consumables, uh, such as uh, drugs and medical materials and other supportive materials for the medical care. Method, as, you, as I have already shared with you in the previous, uh, um, uh, uh, previous uh, slide, uh, method means uh, procedures and standardized procedures. Then um, those four M's is the target of step four. Then we go to step five. In step five, um, top management and core um, management team of the hospital in particular um, uh, have to pay attention to seven different uh, managerial targets. Seven different managerial targets is not so easy to do everything nicely within a short time. Uh, we have to keep our strong interest and strong attention to those seven managerial targets. You can see the seven targets here. Most important thing is the safety, patient safety and safety for the staff. Based on that, we construct the mechanism to have a relevant cost control. And then of course, optimization of um, service delivery system within the hospital and then quality of services. As you can see, quality is not so easy, but based upon the strengthening process of safety, automatically our interest is going to quality. Then if you have those uh, six, uh, content, uh, five contents of the managerial, uh, um, uh, managerial target, you can have an expectation to improve productivity. Productivity is very important for the entire hospital, uh, although uh, all the government hospital doesn't have any balance sheet and all the government hospital is not in a position to collect money uh, from, from the patient except for the nominal fee. So in order to have a productivity, this is quite important to monitor and then strengthen work ethics. We call it the moral. Then of course, attitude on the teamwork of the staff is important. Without teamwork, we can't do a lot of uh, problem solving work. So morale, morale and morals is very important. Those are the explanation of the seven different managerial targets which should be achieved by hospital management team. Then we all the staff have to contribute something to those seven target realization. So, ladies and gentlemen, at the very end of today's speech, we will see this particular uh, diagram again. We have a seven different step to reach our goal. Goal is make making people healthier and then happy. I think that the role of the hospital in the community is something like that. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your watching, uh, for watching this particular video clip. I will coming back very soon with the next uh, video clip, very soon. So until then, have a good day, have a good evening, have a good sleep.
Thank you very much.